Okay, next we have Dominique Palmer for the Giant Step, Giant Step Award, Casey Woodruff, and Lennox from Harris. Next is the Outstanding Student Award. You know, I always think about this award as being the one that should go to kids who, when teachers are out for the day and you have a substitute they can run the class, they tell the truth, they do what they're supposed to do, uh, they help the sub, they're a good role model. So the Outstanding Student is presented to students in each classroom who exhibit outstanding academic success and who exhibit outstanding behavior in and out of the classroom. And this is our base class, Delery Reyes Vargas, Royce Sassa, and Mrs. Barros and Ms. Malia's class, Caroline McLeod, Jacob Nealon, and Mrs. English and Ms. Lynn's class, Erica Magallanes. Aliyah Williard. And Mrs. Jones's class, Valerie Magnus. Dylan Weimert. And Mrs. Murphy's class, Kendra Perry. Jaden Zapian and Mrs. Schlund's class, John Doe and Corinne Lady. Congratulations to our outstanding students. All right, going back to our most improved subject area trophies for the year. In reading, Anaya Gold. In math, Paisley Conquer. In science, Angelina Hoven. Best individual subject trophy. It means you have the highest grades or percentage. I'm sure we had to go by percentage. Highest percent. So maybe one person at a 95 percent average and another person at 100 percent. I'm sure you had to get down that close. But in reading, it was Jacob Meland. In math, Baruch Memon. And Jacob, we're going to ask you to stay because you're getting science as well. It's the first time I've ever seen that happen. So congratulations. Get them all in. Next up, we have the American Citizenship Awards. This award honors two children per classroom who have shown by their words and actions that they possess the qualities and characteristics we hope to instill in all of our students. They are consistently prepared for class. Their homework is finished on time. They volunteer whenever help or support is needed. These students strive to treat others with respect and are model citizens. I would also add that you probably do a lot for others, and that's so very important. So this is our base class. We have a special pin that says citizenship on it, and this is a national award. Our first recipient is Yanira Vega Garcia. Diane Simi. And this is Malia and, and Mrs. Barros' class. Caroline McLeod. Faith Blythe. And Mrs. English and Mrs. Lynn's class, Calvin Pratt, Erica Magianis, and Mrs. Jones's class, Dylan Weimert, Paisley Confer, and Mrs. Murphy's class, J. 
Judith Alvarado Martinez, Kendra Perry, and Mrs. Schlunz Class, Tara White, Sean Takata. Congratulations to these students. Our final two awards are very coveted. There are four awards we give every year called the Mr. Vaca Awards. Mr. Vaca used to be a neighbor who lived right across the street. And every year he would donate $200 to the school and he would say, I want you to pick the most improved in fifth grade overall in the whole year, a boy and a girl, and I would like you to pick the best all around students a boy and a girl the entire fifth grade. So we've continued that tradition in his honor. So today these students will be receiving a $50 check from the school um, to thank you for all your hard work. So the first award for most improved girl in fifth grade, Tegan Biscubia Johnson. The most improved boy, Evan Jones. For best all-around student, girl, Caroline McLeod. For best all-around boy, Chase Honoree. Congratulations to our Mr. Baca Award. The last two awards are called the Neil Armstrong Academic Scholarship Award. Presented to one boy and one girl who have attended Neil Armstrong Elementary from kindergarten through fifth grade, who have the highest grade point average in third, fourth, and fifth grade. So, you get a hundred dollar check from Neil Armstrong. This is the highest achievement. Our girl recipient this year is Corinne Leahy. Our boy recipient this year is James Sturbussell. Congratulations, Karen. Congratulations, James. At this time, we have some closing remarks from Karen Lady and Lily Seifert. If you can come to the stage at this time before we begin our, pro our promotion ceremony. Thank you for sitting quietly in the positive astros.
People started saying that we wouldn't get to go back into the school buildings together at all, that it would have to be a virtual school year, or that if we went back, we would all get sent home again. But we are here together graduating after a safe and successful year, and I couldn't be happier to be sharing this moment with all of you. Yes. 